What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. So, obviously, I spent quite a bit of time off-camera leveling up Tonami. And you can see we are right there, right at the cusp of getting Tonami's evolution out and about. I caught a Tancoon. I caught uh, another thing. There were only two Pokemon I caught. What's it called? I forget. I'll show you guys. It's, it's in the box. I'll show you guys what it is. Anyways. It took a lot of hours to get all the stuff taken care of that I was getting taken care of off camera. But basically, I'm using Dunsparce. I'm leveling up Chian Monk. Boom! To level 14. Did some looking on the wiki. Found out Chian Monk's evolution is at 14. So... Here you guys go. Giant Monk is evolving. Also has Thundershock. And Giant Monk is a thing. Kineta Monk. That's what it's called. A Kineta Monk. Changed color palettes. This is the current team we're looking at here. Uh, obviously, this is going to be changed up. I'm not going to hold on to Kineta Monk. In fact, uh, I'm done with Kineta Monk. It's a good run. 14, level 14, normal electric type, hasty nature, but decent enough stats. Uh, it's very, very fast. Despite having crap speed IVs, it's very fast. And yeah, you can see it has Thundershock. So, good stuff. We have Dunsparce. Uh, obviously, I'm going to get rid of Kineta Monk, get rid of Tonami, and put in the other people, but Dunsparce, pretty badass, gotta say, pretty strong, with that 28 HP IV, holy cow, it's good stuff, uh, has Yawn, Rollout, Pursuit, Screech, uh, other than that, just got some levels on some guys, nothing really uh, too standouty. Nothing really stands out that much, so. You guys will get to see the full effect. Autonomy is just a poison type. You get to see the full effect uh, when we get back to the box and just kind of look at everything. Well, that was quite rude. Trice. Trice me. Whatever you want to call yourself. Electo bug. Ah, come on. Where's the poison? Where's the poison? Need me some poison. As you can see, Tonami can hold his own at this point, but that makes sense. He's level 19 in a level 11 to 16 zone. Of course he can hold himself. Come on, Tonami. Stop being paralyzed. Get in there. Get that smog landed. Get that poison on there. Yeah, we have poison gas, but I'd much prefer to do it. Wow! Much prefer to do it through smog, because smog does damage as well if it hits. Wow, this is going very poorly. That paralysis. This is just, like, Tonami could have easily won this, and now he's on the brink of fainting. Oh god, that's a thundershock. It just came out of nowhere. Alright, fine. You want to play like that? We'll play like that. Dunsparce. Do your crazy stuff. Dunsparce's stats are basically to the point... Are you kidding me? This thing is evasive as fuck. Dunsparce's stats are basically as good as most second stage evolutions of almost every Pokemon we've seen so far. Almost every single one. Dunsparce's base stats are as good or better than. <laughs> it's insane. And I've never ever used Dunsparce before. I know he's a real Pokemon, I've never used him. So this is a new experience for me. Tonami is evolving! Into the fat thing! Hello, fat thing. 
A totemy evolved into a Tophering! Sounds like a Golbat. Okay, Tophering, 74 health. I imagine Dunsparce will have something like that. Wow. Lowers the foe's attack stat. It's got decent enough IVs, too. Like, speed is my least favorite stat. So for me, this is actually really, really good. Aside from the weak defense, but still. Uh, that being said, I'm not really a poison user. Very beefy, though. I, I, I am appreciative of its beefiness. That being said. The girl is... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It got framey. Girl's right here. What's up? Uh, looking for a Tilferang. If you have one, I'll trade you my Pudgy for it. Not super excited for a Pudgy. Or uh, a Pallage, sorry. Not super excited for a Pallage because... Well, I'll show you why. But I will trade the Tilferang because if I want another Tilferang, I can get another Tilferang. You know, it's not a big deal. I'll go ahead and take uh, the Pallage. You never know. It might have an interesting stat set. I don't know. Isabella is the original trainer. Thanks, I love Moon Tofering. It's super strong. Yeah, it is. Definitely super strong. So, Pivy. Not a lot of health for being level 20. Not a lot of health. Well, comparatively. Fire flying. Pretty badass. Uh, flash fire. Powers up fire type moves if it's hit by one. Average IVs. Wonderful. Average all around. Flame Burst, Air Cutter. Eh, not bad, not bad. Uh, I think I would probably prefer to raise my own, however. So I think I will do that. Uh, still, I mean, that's pretty good stuff. It's nice to know we have a level 20 backup fire flying type if we need it. Alright, Poke Center. We have our little 14 Kinetomonk as well that we could use if we ever decide that we just want an electric type. We have one. So! Door into box one. Store into box one. Thank you for evolving. Okay, so I captured a Tancoon. You can see it's level 16. And I captured a, a Pahar, also level 16. So you can see. Uh, Kaivi's level 20. Eh. Uh, we want our Fullerog back, obviously. And then, let's take Tancoon, and let's go evolve him. He evolves at level 18. Uh, I just looked up the most of the stuff about the Pokemon that I figured I wouldn't use, or rather the Pokemon that uh, I know that we have. A little bit of info about when they evolve, so like... You know, s 51s not going to evolve forever. Grozart's pretty close. Dunsparce is forever and off. Uh, Orkinx is close-ish. And Fullerog is a ways. Um, but Tancoon... I don't want Tancoon. I don't want its evolution. So I'll give it an EXP share so we can get the Pokemon into the Pokedex. Other than that, I'll go ahead and let it go. So... Let us save. I did not spoil the story. I did not spoil most anything for myself. I just kind of did some research on what the Pokemon were. Route 6, do not forget to bring some potions. It's very long. I feel like this game should take an extra few seconds to load so it doesn't lag out. Because you see, it's fine now. But as it was loading, it was like freaking out. But now it's fine not framey at all, so... Well, in case it's a little framey. Anyways, Pokedex time! <clears throat> Alright. So we have Kinetomonk. The Chipmunk Pokemon. Normal electric type. Kinetomonk digs intricate tunnels that can stretch for miles underground. They use small electrical pulses to relax their muscles, allowing them to run faster. Neat. Let's see. Dofurang! Cave Beast Pokemon. Unable to fly or move swiftly like Tonami, Tofering instead catch 
catch their prey by exhaling a poison gas that makes Pokemon sluggish. That is a very heavy Pokemon. Okay, uh, Fullerog. I don't remember if we looked at Fullerog. Fullerogs can't swim, but they need to remain damp to survive, so they're found in grasslands next to rivers and lakes. The long toed Pokemon. More Magikarp, Marie, Brond, Bashan. Okay, so we captured Pahar. Pahar are intelligent and commonly kept as pets. They can even be taught to talk, although not to the degree of Chatot, the Cinderbird Pokemon, and then Palage, the Parrot Pokemon. Palage's curio curiously shaped feathers allow it to create friction in the air as it flaps its wings. Sparks trail off the feathers when it flies. Sounds pretty awesome. Tancoon, the raccoon dog Pokemon. Tacoon are mischievous and are known to steal food from small Pokemon or journeying tra trainers. A tri Stunsparse. I don't remember if we looked at S51. Peculiar life form that hovers above the ground with a mysterious force. Rumors say they came from outer space. The UFO Pokemon. Oh, and that's it. Kokoran's the last one. Alright. So that should have got you guys all nice and updated on what we're doing. So let's go into here finally. Oh, hey! Look at that! What's up? Hey, we did get to see him, mate. I'm more. I'd be more cordial, but we have a crisis on our hands. Want to film on what's going on, Lily? Fine. Pleased to meet you, I'm Professor Cypress, but call me Lily. There's no time for introductions. We're all panicked because last night, somebody broke into our lab. Most of the Pokemon we were studying have gone missing, but what's odd is they didn't take our Pokemon speech translator. I mean, some people out there would kill to have get their hands on this prototype. You don't say. Look what I found! Nice! You found Outen! Well, let's use... The PST honor and try to gather some information about the thief. Sure! I'm scared. Some strange figure broke through the wall and grabbed my ball and some of the others, and there was. And then we was carried out to Route 6. But he dropped my Pokeball and I got free. Route 6! That's where he's headed. Thank you, Outen. Someone give that Pokemon a treat for its hard work. We need to catch that thief. Hey, you, OBT, is that it? You're a trainer, right? This thief could be dangerous. I know we just met, but could you help us out here? You want a 13-year-old boy to help you out against criminals. Alright. Here, I'll lend you the PST, so if there's any other Pokemon, you can talk to them. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, I'll make sure to heal your Pokemon so you can catch this thief with no problems at all. They're already healed. I went to the Pokemon Center. I know it's on a short notice, but we're all counting on you. I spoke all more important specimens, they're also my partners. It's essential that we get them back. Curious they didn't take the PSC. This technology may change the way humans and Pokemons interact. JJ! Was it a, a Palage? Wait, no, I don't. No, I need to. Okay, I'm actually gonna go the opposite way. So, Route 6 is obviously the left, that's what the sign says. We're gonna go this way. Because we haven't actually gone this way yet, and there's more stuff to explore. Possibly even trainers to battle. Bum, bum. Oh, here we go! Really? Another Tancoon? I have seen so many of these things, it's just... It's silly, is what it is. It's freaking silly! Bum, 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 bum. Alright. Bulldoze. Very close. You're gonna howl. Sound attack. You know that's fine. Sand attack's fine. As long as Grozard hits again, and he does, success. Oh, really? Uh, see that there's there are so many Tancoons. Like I have destroyed. So many Tancoons. It's absurd. 
This one's beefier. Huh. Bulldoze! Not beefy enough, but clearly this Tancoon has more health. Well done, Bulldoze. You got there. Hello. How are you? Falling leaves are cool, but I miss Beale Beach beaches. Eh, fair. Beach can be fun sometimes. And that's a Kinetomonk. Dunk it! That's one shot. And speed down. Charge? Go for it. I'll just bulldoze again. And you're basically toast. Alright, well that was easy. Tancoon. You know what? Go do it, Tancoon. Go kick some butt. Howl. Yeah, bite's not gonna do a lot. Oh, come on! Oh, this is not even cool. Oh my god, this game is just, like, giving me the big middle finger right now. Wow, are you kidding me? Fuck that. Rosard, get back out there. That was BS. Wow. Oh my god. Fuck it. We are getting screwed right now. Okay. Orkinks, get out there, kick some butt. Metal Claws should be able to take care of this just fine. Alright. Pancoon's down. Jeez. Yeah, you know. Field Beach is in the other direction. Yeah, fair enough. I won't go that way, but good to know. Oh, there's the lag. Alright. It has issues with grass. I've noticed this game has issues with grass. Alright, roll out. Or you can miss. Come on, roll out. Oh. Wow, I turn on the camera and the game just gives me the big middle finger. Wow. It is not being nice at all as soon as I turn on the camera. Uh, curse of the camera. Alright. One Spony should not have done this much damage to a Dunsparce. A Dunsparce should have basically two-shot this guy. Like, by turn three, this battle should have been over. Oh my goodness. At this point, I have to go back. I was planning on battling a whole bunch of trainers and kind of going that way and exploring. Which we should be able to do pretty easily. Oh my god. That just didn't go well at all. Miraculously, that went terribly. Thank you. Bye-bye. Please, no more Tancoons. I'm tired of fighting Tancoons. Give me some variety. I trained last night when I was training up Tonami. I did it during the night. All the, like, the only thing I fought was Tancoon. Because it was night, and Tancoon's a dark Pokemon. The only thing I fought was Tancoon. It's just... I'm tired of Tancoon. 
I am so tired, thank you. And I know you guys are seeing this for the first time, too. That's the problem with training off screen, is like. You guys haven't gotten tired of Tancoon. You haven't seen Tancoon. Alright, there we go. Tancoon down. Raccoon Dog is no more. Yay! Level 17. Trying to learn Odor Sleuth. I don't want Odor Sleuth. No. Yes. Okay, let's put you up front in hopes that we'll get you to 18 a little bit faster. Ooh, there's an item up there. Okay. Ooh, a Dunsparce. Nice. I actually want Dunsparce to fight Dunsparce. Dunsparce gives HP EVs, so obviously I want that to go on my HP tank. Done sparse. I'm not an EV, IV, min maxer at all. I know very little about them. Uh, but I do know they make your Pokemon stronger. So I would be a, a fan of making my Done Sparse healthier. Man, that's spite though. Nice. Well done, Done Sparse. You junked him. Not to mention Dunsparce gives a buttload of experience. Carbos! Okay, alright. I'm good with that. Team 62 contains Silverwind. Wheat. We have Carbos. Base speed stat. Ah. Give it to Fullerog. Why not? That way, hang on. We'll go back up the stairs. That's a cave. So. Ah, I see you, little Pokeball. See you hiding in there. Check out the cave in a minute. Wanna make sure we get the whole path taken care of first. Bite it! Make it flinch! Yes! Flinch it to death! Boom! PP up! Nice! That's actually, like, super helpful. Like, seriously? That is super helpful. For S51. There you go. Put that on Psychic, so S51 can sustain a little bit better. Soothe Bell. Doesn't that make friends easier? Yeah. I mean, I'll give it to... Dunsparce, because why not? No, may as well hold something. But... Oh, and we're already full circle. You know, lady, if you want to go to the beach... It's like right there. Like there is literally a beach right there. I know it's not the beach, but it's a beach. Bite it. Bite it good. Ow. Well, at least it was smart. Wow, it has one HP. You kidding me? Get it, Tancoon. You got there. Tancoon's getting pretty close to leveling up. Ooh, another item. Hello, item. Revive! Heck yes, that's number two. Okay, hey, fisherman. What's up, bro? Free Pokemon. Kokanon! V Tancoon. Nice. Good crits. Good crits. Sand Tomb. Ow. Frick. Get out of there. 
No, not Dunsparce. Dunsparce would be bad. Grozar would be bad. Ah, I've like, I'm like, my weakness is rock. My re weakness is clearly rock. Um, crap. Tancoon can't be switched out. That sucks. Sand attack. Decrease its accuracy in the hopes that it will not do that. A crit? Oh, come on. The worst part is that Tancoon is not getting the experience, so we have to go back, revive Tancoon. Well, this guy's got the withdraws. Oh, man. But we have to go back and revive Tancoon before we can do anything else. Because we're trying to level up Tancoon, trying to evolve Tancoon. And no, I'm not going to waste a revive on Tancoon. That would be silly. Critical hit! Nailed it. Well done, Dunsparce. Big XP gains. Level 19. Holy crap, the health. Ancient power. Maybe. Let me look at it. User attacks prehistoric power. M may also raise all the user's stats at once. Good god. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll replace Screech with that. Sure. Why not? Kokoron! Nope. Sup? We got rollout, bitches. Holy crap. Critical. Ow. It'll be fine, Dunsparce. You're beefy. You got the rollout going. Look at that. Big XP gains. Elatux. Yes, please. Get out of there. We need... Orkings. Fine, whip! It would appear that our starter Pokemon are not particularly rare in this region because we've seen several of them. And they're not the most common things, but clearly there's more than one. Why'd you invade my beach? Cause I could! Well, you got me hooked now, how about we trade numbers? Yeah, sure. I'll trade numbers with the Canadian. Is there any fish in here? There should be. Maybe not for an old rod, but you know. Or there's absolutely nothing in this vast ocean. I'm assuming it's an ocean. I guess we just look on the map. There is absolutely nothing to fish for in this vast ocean. Absolutely nothing. It is an ocean, right? Yeah, that looks like it's an ocean to me. There is no life in the ocean whatsoever. Just remember that for the next episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you next time with some more Pokemon Uranium. DFTBA.